For the next, this is our third example of uh, sequence or series application problems. And you're going to have to humor me for a second because I'm, uh, anyway, here we go. This one, I want to thank Travis for helping us understand it a little bit better in, um, in second period. Um, and so what, based on what he suggested, I went and Googled it, and here I come. Um, so I found this, and he had found this, um, he had talked about the, the bowling ball example. And so here's this physics professor who... But he... This will be my last lecture. I will close my eyes. I don't want to see this. So please be very quiet. I almost didn't sleep all night. Three, two, one, zero. <laughs> um, okay, so back to, to the math problem. So... On this one, we have a pendulum swinging through an arc of two feet. On each successive swing, the length of the arc is 90% of the previous swing. So what's the length of the arc on the tenth swing? You'll notice when we look at 90% of, um, this is going to tell us we're multiplying. So this tells us it's geometric. And that our R value is 0.9. Um, our first swing is two feet. Um, and so the reason I showed you that little clip of a video was to see that um, it didn't, the first swing went two feet in our example, and then it comes back and it doesn't go the full distance. And then it goes again, and so each time it, it doesn't do two feet and then two feet again. You're watching my pin here. Um, so it does two feet and then the next one back is a little bit smaller, and then the next one a little smaller, and so forth. Um, so what is the length of the arc on the tenth swing? Well, our formula would be um, a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1 in general for a geometric uh, sequence. So a sub, in this case, a sub n equals 2 times 0 0.9 to the n minus 1. Uh, so this one, a sub 10 is equal to 2 times 0 0.9 to the ninth. So when I grab my calculator... 2 times 0.9 raised to the ninth power. And I get that it's about 0.775. We'll round to three decimal places. So a sub 10 is about 0.775. I think these units are feet. Okay, and then it says, on which swing is the length of the arc less than one foot for the first time? Well, we know it by the tenth one, it's, it's a bit less than that. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to utilize the table on my calculator. So when I hit menu, I'm going to come down to table. Um, and we typed in, it was 2 times 0.9 raised to the um, x minus 1. Before I go to table right here, um, before I go to the table, I'm going to go set the table. So I can tell it where to start and where to stop. Oh, that's funny. It says 20. Typically, it stops at 5. I must have changed it at some point along the way. But we know the tenth one is 0.775, so let's just do 10. We know the answer is going to be somewhere in before that. So now when I go to the table, I can scroll through here and see on swing 1, it was 20. On swing 2, it was 1.8. And I can generate all these terms. And the first one that's less than 1 foot is swing 8. So, on which swing? The eighth swing. Okay, um, you might have to show more work if um, if you didn't have a calculator, or at least show me what you set it up, how you set it up. You could. Um, we used a sub n was two times 0.9 to the um, n. Sorry, n minus one. Okay, after 15 swings, what total length? Okay, as soon as you see total, we're trying to find s sub 15. Will the pendulum have swung? So the sum of um, a geometric series is a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. I want the 15. The first term was 2 minus 0.9 to the 15 over 1 minus 0.9. I can grab a calculator. 
come back to our run matrix. So it's 2 times uh, 1 minus 0.9 to the 15th power over 1 minus 0.9. And I find that the sum total is about, sum of 15 swings, is about 15.882. Uh, and those units are feet.